So uh, I am curious for all three of you, which of your friends and family were the most excited uh, when you told them that you were going to be joining the MCU? Definitely my brothers. Um, is they're just huge Marvel fans, you know, they're, they're guys, they watch all those movies, they think they're the coolest things in the world. And they never thought when I was auditioning, they were like, there's no way you get that. There's just no way you'll never be a superhero. Um, but they, they freaked out. <laughs> Yeah, my, mine was um, uh, two people. One friend called Luke, who's a huge MCU fan. He was very excited. And my agent was very excited as well. Because he's an MCU fan, not just because of the... Sure, uh, it's a twofold thing, though. With the yeah, agent. I mean, it's a little... He's just happy on every level. Yeah. Yeah, my whole family, yeah, loved it. Um, do you guys think that the Eternals could have beaten Thanos... Um, on their own without any involvement or would he have won? I think we definitely. I feel like you could Yeah, I feel like we could have. I feel like maybe some smarter decisions could have been made. Do you mean Thanos, uh, Thanos on his own? Yeah, uh, well, yeah, I guess you could, you know, does he have the people with him? Is he on his own? Let's say on his own. Oh, definitely. I think on his own you could, yeah. Yeah, without, yeah. without a question. Um, I, I love learning about the behind the scenes of the making of movies. Um, for all three of you, what do you guys think would surprise fans to learn about the actual making of Eternals? It felt a lot like a, like a, uh, this is maybe really off, like weird, but it felt like a drama when we were filming it to me. It felt, I don't know why, but it felt very emotional and dramatic. And then when you watch the movie, there's a lot of comedy. There is a lot of drama too, but it, I don't know, for some reason when I was shooting it, it, it really felt like an indie film. I guess that might've been mm. from Chloe being a part of it. But. Yeah, the surprising, it's surprisingly from, you know, I was in a limited amount of it, but from what I hear, a lot of it was on location, mm -hmm. more so than, than other Marvel movies, which is kind of a surprising thing about it. It was very location-based. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the one I was gonna say, physical location. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, one of the things that's so striking, and I'm sure you've talked about this with other people, but the cinematography in this movie is unlike any other MCU film before it. And um, it's just beautiful to look at. Can you sort of talk about um, your reaction when you realized what Chloe was going for and just, you know, working within that environment? Because it's just so beautiful to look at. Yeah, I, thought, I think we all, you know, I'll speak for all of us, maybe, that we knew we were in the hands of, a, of an incredible director. And even before Nomadland had come out and she'd won the, the Academy Award, like, we, you know, we knew of her previous work and knew how beautifully she could shoot things and photograph things. And um, that was a big reason I, I wanted to come in on this movie, uh, meeting Chloe, knowing of her work and knowing that it would look beautiful um, as, well as, as well as being spectacular. I mean, I didn't really know what to expect coming into it. I, I was very pleased to hear that we weren't always shooting on sound stages and we were traveling a lot and going to some beautiful places. And I think that brings a lot to the movie that the audience will find really special when going to the theaters and seeing it, you know, getting an iced tea and some popcorn and watching the movie. Yeah, oh, I was uh, already a big fan of Chloe after watching uh, The Writer. So... Uh... Uh, I used to live place like that, yeah, in like Montana, Texas, and I was impressed uh, after watching the movie, and then I became a big fan, and then I, that's why uh, I just trust trusted her hundred percent when I was shooting, so I was just focused on my job. Uh, on that note, I got to stop. I'm just going to say I really hope the film is a huge hit, and thank you so much for giving me your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.